Hi guys, last video we we'll talk about how to do uh, you know power gliding self towing. Uh, I built a long range remote control. So that one is based on the Fry Sky R9 system. So this one can go up to a 10 kilometer with about seven miles. That's a way long range than you need. Um, but the people ask. Uh, you know why you want to put an actual <laughs> servo motor there I mean when you use the servo motor basically you can control any kind of wrench so you just use a servo motor to, to uh, simulate like your hand to push that throttle so that's uh, you know that's kind of universe way to uh, to control any kind of wrench but if you have electric wrench then you don't you don't really bother to put actual servo there. So the, normally the speed controller will look like this. Uh, if you if you have throttle, which is uh, zero to five volt. Uh, I mean zero is no throttle, five volt is full throttle. So, uh, but normally it's uh, it's it's one to four. Volt. But they mark like a zero to five volts. You can see, so there, there, there's a throttle. They have marker here. A marker here shows the show the number. Is this the right direction? That's the right direction, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a common speed controller for the hub motor. You know, whenever you want, if if you want to build a. Uh, electric wrench. I have the module actually can give 0 to 5 volt to uh, control the throttle from here. So this is on my receiver side. So instead of you link another servo to control the uh, throttle, I have this uh, little module right here. This is a USB module. Uh, so this module will give a signal from 0 to 5 volt and uh, is powered by the USB uh, power bank and uh, what can I show you here so just put on one is right here one is right here so I just uh, linked this together to uh, to raise uh, this uh, outlet from here. Okay, I just uh, you know raise this outlet from here. That's uh, that's your throttle signals. So if I push the throttle on my hand, and you can see. So voltage will be changed. Right now it's uh, 0 0.6. If I give throttle, 2.8, 4, 3, 4. So the top is a 4.2, yeah, roughly. <laughs> and if I leave the throttle, it's come back 0 0.6. I okay, give full throttle, 4.2. No, and you can slowly go up as well. Okay, we can either quickly 4.20 and slowly go up. Okay, so uh, in this way, you can control the throttle of your speed controller by using this uh, system. Uh, you know, if you don't want to use a servo, <laughs> basically you're going to change. You're going to uh, uh, link this uh, throttle, throttle wire. So you're going to you can the throttle by the common sense. You know, the the red the red is a five volt positive. The black is a negative, the ground. And then this this green wire is a signal. Uh, you can uh, so on, on my 
uh, my uh, module is come of the, the the yellow one the, this uh, signal which which from you know zero to five volt signal and then the black is ground so you're going to link this uh, black to the black and this uh, signal to the signal so you don't really need need to link that five volt because that five volt is support from this uh, USB bank you know uh, yeah that's how that works so that's my uh, universal control once you can uh, you know just mount on your uh, uh, solder strap and you can just take it out you know when you need to charge the battery you know take it at home and this one you can just mount on your shoulder strap pretty easy um, just put it in and secure your batteries Okay, and uh, that's your throttle on hand, wireless throttle on hand. So I my setup, you can see from uh, from here. So the the receiver side, from the receiver side, uh, it will power up from uh, USB uh, power bank. That's very common USB power bank. And then the control wire will goes to the controller right here. Okay, so I I uh, come up the line. So this is basically the same line with your throttle. So you can actually you know control with the throttle. Okay, and uh, you can just connect this line. Okay, you can connect this line. Right now the throttle is wirelessly goes to my uh, hand. Okay. So right now, um, so once you connect to the controller the signal will go from my wireless throttle goes to this uh, long range transmitter and goes to the uh, receiver and then control the the range can just go. okay so just control the range so i did not put the lock nuts on i did not tie it up so that's why you can just move more <laughs> more strongly okay so that's the setup for my electric uh, sport wrench basically you can tow anything so the whole system will be like this so you have throttle on your hand and the signal goes to the uh, FrySky R9 system this is the FrySky R9 uh, transmitter module that goes long distance okay and then the the transmitter r9 transmitter goes to this uh, so the r9 transmitter goes to this uh, r9 receiver right here the little one and then uh, the receiver uh, gave a signal to this uh, usb module and then uh, this usb module gave a you know wattage signal from 0 to 5 volt to control your throttle yeah that's how system works yeah and this uh, receiver side it will be powered by this uh, common uh, you know usb uh, power bank that's uh, pretty easy uh yeah that's the whole system and uh any uh, question just leave me a comment below i'll get back to you thank you
啊，你这个再进来没用了，它就该往往底下这个沉了。风景美极了。哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哎，还是。